Hello guys and welcome to today's video on part analysis. Now when I'm talking about part analysis, I am talking about the surface analysis of a model. Now these analysis commands are extremely useful because they let you inspect a part and validate its geometric uh, surface or quality before actually manufacturing the part. Right? So you want to make sure that you have some smooth transitions between surfaces or split faces um, and you know you just don't have any unwanted noise in any of these surfaces. So let's go ahead and look at some of the analysis tools that we have inside of Autodesk Inventor. Now again, the two that I am gonna be focusing on for today are the zebra analysis and the surface analysis, right? So let's go ahead and start off with the surface analysis. Again, as any Autodesk tool really, if you stay on the command for you know a few seconds, you get a tool tip kind of indicating to you what that command's gonna be doing, uh, as well as it gives you a nice reference image to show you exactly what that command looks like. Right, so let's go ahead and select that surface analysis. You got the dialog box. Again, you can rename that analysis if you want. Um, I typically don't see people doing that, but you do have the option to do it. Um, and then you have uh, a selection here, right? Do you want to apply the surface analysis to the entire model? In this case, I don't, right? So I just want to select the specific faces. Uh, so I want to look at this face in particular, the center face, as well and then the outside face right so i'm looking at those faces specifically because that's where essentially your wrist is going to be resting on as you're using this 3d mouse right so you want to make sure that you have some nice continuous surfaces as you know it's transitioning over to the center and up around it so again for this case i am going to be focusing on the max curvature now the max curvature, essentially what that's doing is it's analyzing uh, the entire model or those, those surfaces that you have selected um, and it's locating areas of either high or low curvature in, in your part, right? So again, you wanna make sure that you see exactly where the highest curvature is gonna appear um, and where the lowest curvature on the part is also going to happen. Right? So again, I'm gonna leave it at auto range. It's gonna select the highest and the lowest based off of the surfaces that I have selected instead of applying some sort of a value to it. Right? And then all you really have to do is hit apply and you can start seeing what's going on here. Right, So you have the highest curvature starting to appear in this transition over here. And then of course the lowest curvature over here towards the top. Right, so again, that's how you would read this scale. Uh, lowest would be in this portion right here, whereas highest is going to be towards the right. Notice that you do also have some sort of discoloration here. Um, again, that, that can indicate some sort of a split face um, or a, a rapid change in curvature as well, right? Maybe you don't want that. Maybe you want that transition to be a little bit smoother. Again, this tool is going to help you analyze that and go back to your model and maybe make that change um, to have a, a smoother transition. Right? So that's how essentially you would use this surface analysis tool. Let's go ahead and switch over to the zebra analysis. Um, again, if you wanted to turn that off, you can always go back into the analyze or the analysis folder over here on the top. You can either press it or you can delete it off together. Uh, you can go ahead and apply a zebra analysis. Again, you do have the option to rename it. Um, and then the commands over here on the left are essentially allowing you to select which orientation you want these lines to appear in. Again, I'm typically fine with the out of the box settings. So let's just go ahead and apply the zebra analysis to the specific curves that I was looking at before. Hit apply. And notice that you get the zebra analysis and again zebra analysis are going to show you where the surface is uh, is breaking right or it's not continuous anymore in this case we looked at the curvature analysis or the surface analysis give us um, a rapid transition here right in curvature notice that the zebra analysis can also validate that by having this little offset in the zebra lines right so again that's indicating to you that that transition isn't isn't really smooth um, or there's a break in the surface. So again, we might want to go back to the model and make a quick change. 
right? So that's been working with the zebra analysis and the surface curvature analysis. Hope to help you guys.